What's up, what's up? Well, first of all, hey, and second of all, it's been quite a while since I've sung with Felipe on uh, Subway. And here I am, back on Subway with Felipe Pelani. Oh, I call this Breaking the Chains of Fear. Sort of a podcast where I delve into the challenges that hold me back, hold us back, and explore the ways that we can overcome them. And I want to show you the story through my experience with one of the amazing buskers on New York subway, Felipe Pavani. I realized that we've become friends through music. From Miami. <laughs> she's singing, she's singing very well, she's so good. She's the singer. And every time I come to New York, I reach out to him to sing on subway. Well, I guess I'm going to be your host, um, Ksana from Miami, as Felipe said. And today I want to talk about the barriers that our mind creates and how we can break through them to achieve our dreams. All right, so. I always knew that to get somewhere in life, you have to work really hard and make sacrifices. Success doesn't come easy. We all know that. Our bodies and minds often resist when faced with uh, obstacles, almost as if they are shutting down. Fear is our natural response, a switch that flips on whenever we face a difficult situation. And most of us, fear is what keeps us from stepping out of our comfort zone. It's what stops us from trying something new or approaching someone we want to connect with. God, and our brains are incredibly good at coming up with reasons not to take a, not to take that leap. It's our natural state to avoid discomfort. But here's the thing: when we do take that one small, small step, the rewards are incredible. You feel a sense of satisfaction, pride, and empowerment. You start to see through the you start to see through the games your mind plays on you. So let me share a personal story when I first tried for Broadway. I was just starting out in New York. I went through only a couple of auditions before I shut down. I convinced myself that I didn't want to pursue Broadway anymore. I told myself it wasn't for me, that I didn't like it. But the truth was, I was scared. I found it hard to overcome my fear to gather the strength and power to keep trying. I realized later that these excuses were just my mind's way of protecting me from potential failure. But then I had a change of heart. I thought, if not now, then I guess never. I decided to train myself to think differently. And here I am back on Subway with Felipe Pavani. Now there's another great news that I want to congratulate Felipe with. Uh, just about two years ago, he was struggling to get on the map of like subway musicians to become a busker. And now he's one of the judges on MTA subway musician contest. So he's actually picking through the musicians and deciding whoever's going to play on the subway, who's going to play underground. And just recently, he was one of them who couldn't get to have an opportunity to play. Also, I cannot stress enough that all of our inhibitions often come out of nowhere. It doesn't matter where you're from. Fear and doubt are universal. However, being an immigrant like me adds an extra layer of pressure. I'm Ukrainian, and my friend Felipe is Brazilian. Wherever we go, people expect cliches and often look at us with with prejudice, you know. Not to mention that just recently many Americans couldn't care less about the difference between Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. Some probably still don't. So before reaching out to Felipe, recently I was always standing in the corner right there in the, in the crowd and watching him sing and giving myself a million and billion reasons not to come up. Some people, even me, sometimes say that if it doesn't come easy, maybe it's not your way. Maybe you should change your ways. But you know what? Persistency is the key. I think if you have something in your mind that tells you that's what you should go for, you should really, you should do it. America is a very conservative country, even though it's known as the land of dreams. Ironic, right? When people see a foreign name on audition board, they often write you off just immediately. That's what I went through. 
And then growing up, I constantly heard no one from Eastern Europe has ever succeeded in the music business. Many have tried and gotten lost along the way. The kind of pressure can be really overwhelming. But here's what I learned. Your background and the prejudice you face do not define your potential. Each small step you take in the face of fear, each audition you attend, each person you approach, these are victories. They build your confidence and reveal the strength within you. To anyone listening, remember this. Your mind is a powerful tool, but it can also be your biggest obstacle. It's very important to recognize when it's really holding you back. Take that step, no matter how small. Mark's a great musician as well. He plays guitars a lot and he sings so. My name is Isana, so you can call me. And this is Felipe Bobani. Thank you for having me. So I want to thank these guys for the opportunity to sing on the subway, to play and sing music, to tell you the story, uh, to show you how talented people from all over the world are gathering in New York, uh, how amazing they are. Marcus, uh, Marcio, and nobody knows, maybe you're going to be the next biggest music success, right?